Hello and thanks for joining me. Today I'm down on the beach at the Church in the Sea on Anglesey. Now I was planning to be on a Snowdonia Ridge today to make up for the fact that on New Year's Eve it was really low cloud and I couldn't see a thing. Uh, but when I headed over onto the mainland it was pretty much exactly the same condition so I thought oh, okay then looks like it'll have to be a beach. But as plan B's go this isn't too bad. As it happens it's a really low spring tide and so there's an image I've had in mind for some time that's a really unusual angle and I haven't actually seen another image from that angle. It's going to involve me scrambling over the seaweed all the way down to the water's edge to look back at the church from out over there. It could take me a while to get through all of this seaweed and over these rocks and I'm bound to fall over and get wet so let's see how we get on. So for this first image I've come right the way down to the very edge of the water and this low spring tide means I'm miles away from the beach. If you've ever been to the church in the sea you'll know that there are acres of rocks covered in bladder rack and it's taken me ages to scramble my way down here. But what I'm looking to do is to get an angle on the church that is very rarely seen because you can only get here at a very low spring tide. And the advantage I've got at this time of the year with the sun low in the sky, some lovely side light on the profile of the church and so I'm really able to make the most of that. Now I'm using a series of filters to get a long exposure. I've got a 0.9 soft grad just to control the sky a little bit and even things up. Obviously I'm using my circular polarizer to take the glare off the sea but I'm also using a 10 stop filter to get shutter speeds of between 45 and 60 seconds and that's allowing me to smooth out the sea and to create some interesting shapes around these rocks in the foreground. The light is lovely, I've got it reflecting off the bladder rack and as that moves around in the waves it's creating all sorts of interesting colours and of course it's really popping a whitewash of the church. Well, as I suspected I did end up getting a bit wet on my way back from that vantage point but I'm hopeful I got a half decent image. So I'm back up on the main beach now, I'm going to have a scout around. I've got a couple of other things in mind, about an hour or so to go till sunset so hopefully I'll be able to take advantage of that. I've had a really good scout round on the beach, been either side of the church, down the causeway as well. I was thinking about doing some close-up work but because the sun is so low in the sky now and the beach actually is raised up so as you come back from the church everything's in shadow so there really wasn't anything I could do with that. So what I've done is I've parked myself up at the back of the beach on the fence line. So it's given me an elevated picture of the church in the sea and in fact I've got the horizon of the sea running through the island itself. What I've done is I've positioned myself so that I've got the gable end of the church facing straight into the setting sun and we'll see if we get any decent colour. I'm thinking in terms of a 10 stop image again uh, to try and bring a bit of life into the sky. Now the wind is coming straight at me so there's a possibility that as the light dips I can get a long enough shutter, say two or three minutes, that will create that kind of starburst effect with the clouds but we'll see if that works out or not.
Well, now the clouds that I'd been hoping for to move through the image have rather melted away. So I'm left with a few little lines of cloud on the horizon, uh, but hopefully an interesting shot to finish off with nonetheless. I'd been a bit worried about coming down to the church in the sea and bringing you along because there's a danger rather like uh, my last vlog when I went to Llandwin Island with this location, there's a danger you'll get a bit fed up of it. But it occurred to me while I was waiting for the sun to go down, I don't think I've actually brought you here since April last year. So even though I'm here quite a lot, you're not here quite so often, so hopefully you won't get too bored of the place. Anyway, I hope you found it interesting despite its brevity. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, why not subscribe now and join me next time. Cheers.